can be long and complicated for some, and when Natalie and Harold Brantley learned they couldn't conceive, the couple had to explore other options to start their family. Here's their story. Hi, my name is Natalie, and this is my husband Harold. We met in high school, we're high school sweethearts. We've been together for a little over 13 years, and finally got married about five years ago. We knew we always wanted to have children. Um, quite a big family actually, initially was our plan. They were eager to start a family when they got some devastating news. Natalie was diagnosed with a serious heart disease. It's 33 to 50% mortality rate for a, a woman to give birth with this condition. And that sort of like crushed our hopes a little bit for having our, a family of our own. I was so scared. I actually didn't hear anything else the doctor had to say. I kept thinking to myself, I'm young, I'm, I'm, I'm healthy, I'm active, I eat well, and really um, took its toll kind of on me. It was a complete shock. The couple agonized over how they could start a family. We decided to explore their options, so I obviously immediately turned to the internet um, where I discovered an article on the New York Times um, that kind of talked about surrogacy a little bit, and at the time I knew nothing about it. It's, you know, it's something that doesn't get talked about much. Immediately, I almost felt relieved that there were options, other options out there to be able to start my family. Their prayers were answered in the form of a surrogate named Sarah, who gave Natalie and Harold the most amazing gift they'd been waiting for, a baby girl named Harley. The grateful couple wanted to say this to Sarah. I want her to know that she gave us the biggest gift life could ever give us, that she will always be a part of our family and always be a part of Harley. Words can't describe how thankful we are and how much Sarah and what she's done means to us and our family. What a beautiful story. And we're joined now by Natalie and Harold. Thank you both for being here and for joining us. And, you know, it's been, it's been a long, long road for both of you to start your family. So what, what was it like? What was it like when you heard that your surrogate was pregnant with your baby? So about two weeks after our embryo transfer, I get a text message from Sarah, our surrogate, and it's a photo of a positive pregnancy test. And immediately I start crying, bawling. I was so happy. Um, I never thought this would ever happen to us. I photo the, uh, forward the photo to Harold and call him right away. And I remember thinking to myself and saying to him, like, oh my God, we might actually have a baby in nine months. Like, and then the panic sets in, but you're so happy. And it was like, <laughs> tear the joy. And I was so overwhelmed um, and just full of happiness. Well, for people out there that have similar stories or are going to be turning to surrogacy mm -hmm. to, to create their families, what's the hardest part? Oh, you know, it's it's a long process. I think people need to, you know, realize that one, it's nine months to cook the, the baby in the oven to begin with. But when you're going through the surrogacy process, it could be up to a year and a half, two years. Um, you know, people that are going through this process, you know, everybody has their own story for reasons why they want to do it. But I think like just waiting and, and waiting for that bundle of joy to finally come is sort of like the hard part. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we want to we want to bring out Melissa. And, and Melissa, uh, we, we're going to be going by Melissa. And Melissa, where, where are you at, Melissa? There you are, right there. Yes. Right there, yes. Melissa. <laughs> now, Melissa, you helped match um, Natalie and Harold with their surrogate. So what about people who are a little, little scared, a little nervous about looking into a surrogacy? What do you have to say to that? I think it's just a stigma that surrogacy is scary. These women really are vetted very well, and, and they're your regular, everyday people. We spend a lot of time with them, so they will have criminal background checks, psychological screening, interviews, medical tests, drug tests. We send someone to their home to make sure it's a safe place to live. Mm. So it's really not something to be nervous about. And we have definitely resources for people. We have other people that have helped have a baby this way that can talk to them. So we have surrogates that can talk to them and parents that can talk to them and your local fertility group can help. And our agency has lots of books that people can read. And there are just a lot of wonderful women out there. We can always use more. Um, we a can lot of support around yeah, all of us. Yeah, the agency. Yeah. Oh, that baby oh. smell. 
Maybe I will go for four. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta say welcome back, everybody. We're with Natalie and Harold Brantley, who just shared their story of using a surrogate to have their first baby. And we finally got a chance to meet the baby girl of the hour, little baby Harley. And our audience, they gave a nice low clap because we want to make sure that Harley is, is comfortable and being here on set with us, but she is beautiful. Oh my gosh, thank you guys. so much. Good luck getting her back. <laughs> Hi, so, uh, what advice do you have for other couples that are kind of facing the same situation as you have? First and foremost, don't give up on your dream. Um, we're just your everyday couple, and you know we struggled. Um, we didn't think we'd ever have our family, and you know we turned to surrogacy, and it's not just something that celebrities can do. It's real and it's something that, it's an option that you can explore. Um, and just overall, just have faith, be patient. Like, talk yeah, about this worth the wait. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You know, just, just to piggyback on, on the patients, um, it's a long process. I think it's important for people to realize that, you know, as you're going through this process and you're picking your surrogate, um, you know, don't, don't let the perfect be the enemy of the good. Um, you know, have two or three, like, major points that, you know, you care about in your surrogate, and then just put it in God's hands and, and just have faith that you're going to be okay and that it's going to work out for you. And you're gonna have the have the baby in the family that you want. Yeah. And, and you guys, you haven't seen your your surrogate Sarah since she had baby Harlow. No, no we, we haven't. She had Harley. You haven't seen her. No, no I know. And she was looking at Harley smiling. Well, would you like to see Sarah now? Get out of here. No way. Get out of here, right? No. Come on out. Come on out. Come on out. Thank you so much for being here. Awesome. Ah, thank you. Have, 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 have a seat. Do you want to see the baby? Aww. <laughs> Did you see it? Yeah. She's uh, just the most precious gift you could give anyone. She is. So, yeah. so Sarah, how, how did it make you feel, though, to see that, you know, this, this ultimate gift that you were able to give these two? She's beautiful. It's incredible. And I'm so grateful to help them. <laughs> I mean, it, it really is just, uh, it's a beautiful, and it's almost like an extended family here because I, I hardly is loved by all of you. Mm -hmm. yes. What made you become a surrogate? Because she, she mentioned it's everyday women. Like, why choose this? Um, I love children. Uh, we have two of our own. Um, we kind of decided that we were done. So I wanted to help somebody else. I know someone that was a surrogate. So I did a lot of research, looked into it, and we decided that we wanted to help someone. And, just so Sarah happy Michael, you gave us the biggest gift of life. Yeah. Like the biggest gift that anyone could ever give us, this woman gave us, and we're so grateful. She completed our family for us. I mean, you got me looking for <laughs> petitions right now. <laughs> well, you guys have some news you want to share today. <laughs> Well, um, we're, we're planning the process of uh, working on baby number two, and we are going to go with, uh, with Sarah again. So we are super excited about this. <laughs> so you're, all, you're doing it again? We're doing it again. <laughs> well, I tell you what, please do, do us the honor of keeping us up to date. Yes. On, well. on, on no, this whole process of baby number two. Appreciate and, I, and I think there couldn't be a better example than, than you all about, you know, surrogacy and how it can, can help complete a family and to be so giving and then to be so loving Absolutely. and, and serve for you to make sure that this was like the perfect match for everybody. Well, so, on, on Mother's Day, on to Mother's celebrate Day. mothers in all their forms and, yeah. and this gift you've given them. Oh, she's... Yeah, thank you. Well, Sarah, happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day to you. Mother's Day is coming up soon. And I don't forget about that. She's my friend. Thank you, you know. Thank you all for being really appreciated. This is one of the sweetest stories we've ever done. And this is one beautiful, and on top of that, happy baby. <laughs>